Okay, we're in our healing girl era. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Zoe here if you're new and today I'm back with another video and today we are doing a little bit of a chit chat get ready with me. I also haven't updated you guys about my life since I got laid off which is a crazy scenario to leave off on so I wanted to update you guys and just let you guys know what my post layoff life has been like. So since then your girl has been on a roller coaster ride of life okay and for foundation I'm going to be using the makeup by Mario foundation. This is my second day using it. I'm not 100% sure how I feel. Um, this is the shade 18w basically i got laid off in january and my birthday was actually at the end of january honestly i'm kind of grateful it was i feel like being around all of my friends like celebrating my life honestly gave me like a really good boost of confidence and just like energy to kind of keep going and my best friend tiana actually flew in from connecticut and that was so much fun literally love her to death we got matching pinky tattoos it's really nice to be around like comforting energy like tiana really brings out like my goofy side and just being able to like actually just let loose and laugh and not think about anything was really nice and we even had a conversation about the whole situation while she was here which was really motivating as well um so i'm really grateful honestly that my birthday was then it sounds weird but like i think it was just a lift that i needed um, but moving into February, I was a little anxious and nervous. It was a lot of confusion on like what my next step was and I had decided, drum roll please, that I was going to try out full-time content creation and you guys, that is such a big leap of faith that genuinely it took a lot in me to make. A big like factor in trying to figure out like what my next step was, was trying to determine what my goals were versus my dad's goals for me. I really had to like sit and reflect and figure out like what do I want for my life? One thing that I always come back to since I was in like eighth grade is being a content creator. But if you guys didn't know, I actually had a YouTube channel when I was like 12. And I would make like stop motion music videos. Videos were like hella cringe. Never had to high like we do, we do, you and I. Although it can't work, it's all fun and games till someone gets hurt. But at the same time, I'm really proud of myself to like really put my on to editing and creating the content. I was pulling all nighters at like 12. Like that's crazy. And even when I went to college, I like started YouTube again. Um, and was just doing this channel with more of like a beauty vibe and honestly it was doing really freaking well I had videos with millions of views and I stopped doing that to you know go to college and become a nine to five and I did that and it didn't work out and something just was calling me back to doing content creation again it's just something that I love doing even when I was doing my nine to five job I was being a content creator just for a brand and not for myself and it's something that I always come back to so I was like you know what I'm giving myself another shot at this if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out and I will figure out another way to pivot but I'm at least going to try to give it my all one last time so far it has been a rocky road I'm not gonna lie but it has been kind of exciting and fun People usually get mad at me when I call it this but I feel like right now I'm kind of in my flop era which sounds really aggressive but I'm basically just saying that upon leaving like YouTube and like content creation seriously, I think for like over a year, I'm now in the space where I need to figure out one, what I like to create and who I want to be as a content creator, but two, also refigure out what you guys like. Um, because obviously me five years ago making content and it's doing so well, I have to remember like these people are growing with me. You know what I'm saying? So the content that they might've liked five years ago might not be the content they like now and kind of really hone in on my crafts again, which has been difficult. I'm not gonna lie, my ego has been trying to make me give up so many times. It's been a really almost frustrating process, but I'm almost thankful for the process. It's going to allow me to appreciate the end goal more. This is why I call it a flap era is because not every video is going to do well when you're used to getting a certain amount of views and you know engagement on your videos and then you stop and you try to come back to it and expect that same energy back it's not always like that and it's something that i've had to come to terms with in the sense that like i need to rebuild the trust in my audience i need to restructure who i used to be because i'm not the same person from five years ago everything and if you're not seeing the growth that you ideally would want um it makes you question oh my god is this for me like am i making a mistake i've had so many moments where i genuinely wanted to quit like i was like you know what i'm about to start applying to job i have to really be real with myself and i'm like don't force yourself to go back into a dynamic that you don't want to be in because you're not automatically getting the results that you want right now i can't just expect things to fall in my lap i have to work for them and i had to almost revert back into the mentality that i had when i first 
started YouTube. 18 years old, 19 years old, or even when I was 12 years old, and I was making videos because I enjoyed making videos, not because I was trying to get numbers. And I have to think about like who I wanna be as a creator. And honestly, before anything, before sponsorships and money, one thing I genuinely want to do is just make a difference in somebody's life. I don't care if it's five people or 5,000 people or 500,000 people. I want my channel and the content to heal people. I want them to feel comfortable and happy and like uplifted when they watch my content. I want them to feel inspired and you know me just trying to go viral is not going to inspire anybody i've had videos where it gets one comment but the one comment is this person saying oh my god this meant so much to me or i resonate with this so much and i'm just like wow like i'm happy that like it touched somebody and understanding like the right eyes are on me at the right time always and to really just trust the process trust myself trust the universe and it's freaking scary but i'm happy that i'm on it and i'm happy that i made that decision and i'm really freaking proud to say that the month of april i was able to fully pay my bills with the money that i've made off of just doing content creation which is such a big deal to me to put yourself out there and to really take that leap of faith and trying to figure out like what route you're gonna go and then to be able to see those results is like really really exciting and important to me i have confidence with myself you know what i'm saying i've done it once before i can do it again and i've just had like a lot more of a positive mentality and perspective and outlook on life which i actually my i feel like my perspective just on life has like changed i don't know something about the springtime has like rejuvenated me but the past four months has not been all sunshine and rainbows okay i feel like February was really really bad for me. I feel like overall if there's seven days in a week five out of seven days I was feeling sad So that kind of gives you a perspective like it definitely wasn't all sunshine and rainbows once I decided to do this It was really freaking hard mentally draining. So I'm glad now that I'm in like a new new era for myself You know what I'm saying a new energy and I will say so far March has been one of my favorite freaking months of this year like I had so much freaking fun in March. If you guys haven't been watching my vlogs, go watch them because you guys can kind of see like a glimpse into my life. I know so many Pisces um, and I've been celebrating their birthdays, which has been really fun just to like celebrate life and spend time with my friends. Uh, fun things that have like come from just like post layoff is that like, yes, I've been invited to some influencer events, which honestly was a goal on my mood board for the year 2023 when I was making it in January before I even got laid off one of the things I really want I was like I want to be invited to these events that you know influencers and content creators go to I want a seat at that table and I've gotten a seat at the table so far I've gone to a mansion content creator party at the selfie pop mansion in LA which was really cool I'm um, gonna actually went alone I've really been putting myself out there too your girl has been adventurous to say the least if I don't have a plus one, my plus one will be you guys when I go to vlog. I also went to the Urban Decay launch party for their 24-7 Inks collection. I do want to get better at like networking and actually like talking to people at those events because that's one thing I haven't fully mastered yet. But baby steps. I think the fact that I've gone was just a step within itself. I've also gotten some really, really freaking cool sponsorships, you guys. Guess who guess who wanted to collab with your girl? skims bro like skims wanted to partner with me are you shitting me like stop playing with her i literally was so excited when that happened like that shit was literally like the highlight i've always wanted to work with them and i ended up working with them for their swim drop so shout out to kim okay because y'all know i love her like she's literally so cute and iconic to me okay i need to get a damn q-tip i was like this hallway in my room uh, let me see Um, and then I also got to partner with Jennifer Aniston's hair brand it's called Lola V and I love Jennifer Aniston She's always been my favorite character on like friends and honestly a shit ton of movies like I've always really really liked her um, So the fact that I get to partner with her as well and just a few other brands like it's just been a really cool experience and, and you know honestly, I'm just like super proud of myself for Choosing me, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's really hard to choose you and especially when you have pressure from your parents and Everything like that to like truly choose what you want to do and kind of just give it your all It's a really freaking hard step and if there's something that you've been wanting to do You can't keep waiting for the perfect time for it to happen Sometimes it's just gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I started this journey on less than perfect terms like you know what i'm saying like i i don't wish anybody getting laid off it's not a fun experience and it's quite traumatic to be honest i think everything happens for a reason if the layoff didn't happen maybe i would have stayed there way 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 too long and i would have never tapped into like pursuing my dreams on camera you can't see the blush but in person i promise you i'm overdoing it like, i'm looking 
quite clownly in person, okay? I'm looking very much like Boo Boo the Fool. I'm not really dating right now, to be honest. I feel like I'm really, really focused on, you know, my career life. Like, ideally, I'd meet somebody this summer. It happened to a little some serious in like the fall winter time. But, like right now, exactly in the place that I am right now, I'm not really interested in dating, to be honest. A lot of men have been giving me the ick. Honestly, not a lot of men, all men have been giving me the ick. We'll meet somebody if I'm at a party and it'll be super fun to like flirt and whatever. Then it's like after that, when they try to link me, I'm like, Mmm, ducking, dodging, swerving, okay? Like, don't want parts. Realistically, not in the mood to date. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's in the air. But she's just not giving that girl. I'm gonna be using the Ofra Verified Liquid Liner to put my moles on, cause you know I don't go out the house without my moles. But I feel like one thing that's next for me is, I've always just liked the concept of like being a, like the, I like the term soul healer. Um, I feel like that's why I wanted to do psychology in college, even though I didn't become like a full psychiatrist. I always felt, you know, fulfilled and pure when I was able to make an impact on somebody with my words, with my experiences, with my perspectives. Um, and just like kind of help people live like happier and better lives. And I love those type of content creators. Like my favorite one is Hindsight. I literally watch him every single morning. Like he is my piece. I absolutely love him to death. Him, Jay Shetty, like all of those people. And like I, I've always kind of been interested in doing that. So I feel like I want to do more chit chat videos and stuff um, to just help people. You know what I'm saying? I still want to do beauty content because I do love beauty content. That's definitely something that's like up my alley. If I can almost mix the two somehow, some way, um, I definitely would love to do that. And I want to help people. Like I just, I don't want what I'm doing to be in vain. Making people feel good makes me feel good. Um, I also want to just get a little bit better at putting myself out there. I don't do that often. You know, I said it early in the video that I've been like starting to go places by myself and stuff, which is great. But um, I want to start like pitching myself to brands. Um, and stuff like that. I don't know why I get so shy and nervous. I think it's just like a fear of rejection I can't keep living like that. You don't you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't shoot You know what I'm saying? So I want to start doing that. I considered a podcast at one point um, which I might still look into but Overall, you know what I'm saying? Not in the mood to date. Okay, we're in our healing girl era our bad bitch era I'm, I'm focusing on me. I don't know what to say. It's feeling like me season right now. I feel so bad for anybody who doesn't fuck with me. At the end of the day, now it's time to do it. I'm 26 and I'm freaking proud of myself for that. And I'm giving myself a pat on the back. And if you're doing that as well, or if you're thinking about doing that, I think you should do it. Oh, and one thing I also forgot to mention, I went to New Mexico with my aunt. It was such an amazing experience. Aunt Susie, if you're watching this, I love you to the moon and back. You breathed so much creativity and happiness into me during that trip and really motivated me to be in the mental space that I am right now. And she deserves a shout out. And she was like, girl, I know you're going through it right now. I'm flying you out. We're gonna go, we're gonna have a whole moment. And it was literally the best reset trip that I can ask for. So shout out to Suze. I literally love you so much. But yeah, you guys, this is the final look how do we like the foundation like did mario you know snap did he eat or is it giving like is it giving like return to sender send back to the kitchen like what's tea this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more videos like this comment down below and let me know what y'all want me to talk about and i can't wait to keep creating for you guys i'm gonna pop up all of my social medias on the screen so you guys can follow me across all platforms if you guys want to get notified every time i upload a video make sure to subscribe and turn on my notifications you actually know it's crazy if you're still watching this and you're not subscribed i feel like you should do that because i looked at my analytics and 96 percent of the people who look at my videos are not subscribed to my channel and i just think that's so bold and absurd like like just tap just so you can keep up with your girl okay i want to i want to make you feel happy i want you to join the family